This video will explain you about transaction script pattern, which is part of domain logic pattern. We have already introduced what is domain logic pattern. If you have not checked that video, please first check that video. And let's start with the transaction script pattern. As per definition of this transaction script pattern, we should organize business logic code by procedures where each procedure handle a single request from the presentation. So basically it's saying that we should organize our code or we should revide our code using the procedures or method. And for each set of uh, business case, we should create a separate method in our code. So let's see example. Is one of your client have hotel business and for they have already have a Salesforce offer their work. Now what they want that their customers, hotels customer basically, they can book their hotels conference room by on. For that they need one customer portal. Now it's a very simple requirement that we need to create a customer portal. So for that, what we need as a minimum requirement, we need a hotel object we need a rooms object and then whatever the booking is required for that we need a booking object for this what are the methods or things we require first we will need one ui so that for the ui we can go with lightning component or we can go with visual force uh, portal component and in this and that portal component basically we call the apex class that apex class has a method like a book room in this book room they need a customer or kind of room they need to book and based on that those things first a system or apex class will check the availability of the conference room then it will see what is the price if it is already available then if uh, it's available and price is there then it will book the room then it will commit the transaction and whatever transaction is detail is there it will share with the customer this is for the booking and same can happen for the book cancellation of that particular booked room that's basically when the cancellation is required by any customer first it will check that provided room number and the customer is valid and the person who has provided that is the uh, valid data they have entered after that we'll see the check cancellation policy then we will see the calculate refund amount and after all those things we will cancel the room and we will share the detail to the customer so every detail everything we have written in a single procedure we not required a multiple procedure or based on the oops concept we divide the class in multiple classes and we will go with the polymorphism concept that is not required a simple requirement a simple method if that method actually you can say they can divide into sub method but mostly we will do in a one method that's why it say it all logic will be written in a procedure and for each kind of a request like we have book we have a cancel for each kind of request we have a separate method so now see when we should use the transition script pattern so ideally we should use this kind of pattern when the business requirement is very simple as we have going to one of the simple requirement how to use how to we should use or how should we create this transaction script pattern code so first we should all interaction is handled using a single method of class and that method has go to all any api or any data uh, data interaction so single method as we have seen in uh, our, this class book room class is there and in book book room method is there and book room method we have call other functionality that can be divided in some method or a same method we can do all those transaction next all code can be written in a method itself or in another sub method already told and code execution will be done in a sequential manner when the method is called all the code will be run in a sequential methods so this is how we can implement the transition script pattern. Now, what are the advantages? Advantage is very simple to use, and all the method which is written in that class is independent. Basically, there is no interaction, no code actually used in the multiple method. Every code has a different kind of code. 
every procedure has a different kind of code even uh, same same logic is required then that duplicacy will be done in all method basically next we have disadvantage for this transaction script pattern is the code duplication of course because in each method same code can be written so there will be duplicacy of code and when we have a complex requirement then this kind of pattern or this pattern will not fit for that kind of complex uh, complex requirement we should go with a domain model